The Grand River Blues Society put on a free concert at Edelweiss Pub on Sunday to celebrate the release of their newest album, God Mojo 2. About uh, five years ago, we came out with uh, God Mojo, and uh, this is this the second uh, God Mojo CD. And uh, the, the idea was to, in fact, uh, get the, the uh, music of the, the uh, bands in the region uh, you know, spread out to a, a larger audience, so across Canada, across across the states. So w what we've done is got 16 uh, songs that are original. We don't want to get into copyright. Uh, the 16 original songs by uh, the 16 artists that are just in this region, and uh, we have distributed that CD to uh, radio stations, festivals, talent buyers. Uh, right across Canada and, and the U.S. So the idea is to exposure for the local musicians. Got Mojo 2 features songs from 16 local artists, 11 of which performed at Edelweiss on Sunday. Well, it's a great exposure. Not only, uh, you know, there's a lot of like-minded people in the room, but uh, it's also important to give back to the Grand River Blues Society because they do some fantastic things for us as well. So it's our chance to say thanks and organize a great event. I think the God Mojo 2 CD album is, uh, is just a great idea in order to uh, help spread the word about what's happening in the Grand River. Uh, they distribute it out to uh, radio stations, festivals. It's a great opportunity for us where we may not be able to reach those people as, as individuals. They're getting out as a society and spreading the word about what we have here. So it's, uh, it couldn't be better. It's great. We just felt that this, uh, in fact, uh, area uh, this wasn't uh, well served by that society uh, and uh, we just felt that this was the thing to do uh, to get the word out of, of uh, the, this, the fabulous, talented the musicians that we have in this area to give the, uh, the venues, the bands and, uh, and the fans uh, a, a voice uh, so that uh, they could find out in fact where uh, uh, this uh, blues genre of music is, is played on a regular basis. I mean, without local stuff, where would we be? There would all be tourists, tourists coming in and playing in our city. And uh, I think, I've been to a lot of cities, and I think we have a fantastic core group of, uh, of musicians, especially in the blues genre. It's just incredible. Today is a perfect example. There's at least 11 musicians, 11 bands here today that are all uh, just fantastic. All of these fantastic local musicians are connected by one thing, the Grand River. Something about water, the river, something like like the Mississippi, how it drains down all through the the U.S. and uh, through the, the the Delta and New Orleans. I think the same thing's happening in in Canada, where this Grand River that is, um, you know, heading heading actually south to the uh, uh, to Lake Erie rather than heading to the closest uh, Great Lake up north. And along the way, uh, uh, there's just something about being uh, beside a river that has, uh, has a, some kind of a musical uh, influence on, on the musicians. So I just really feel strongly about that.